Hey guys, welcome to another Code with Chris lesson. And in this video, I'll show you guys how to add images to your app. And you're probably going to be using images a lot, whether you're adding backgrounds for your app or you're, you know, you're adding icons or just changing the look and feel and the styling of your app. It's all done through images. So we're going to get started and create a brand new Xcode project. I'm going to start with a single view application. I'm just going to call this uh, image uh, image view demo and save it on my desktop and the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the storyboard and we're going to add an UI image view element to our view and this is the element that's used to add images basically uh, each image view element is a single image so make sure that you can see this inspector pane on the right hand side uh, you can click this icon here to reveal it if yours is not and down here in the lower right make sure that you're flipped over to this objects library tab and then search for image it should pop up image view right here so we're gonna drag it over and by default it's going to try to expand uh, and fit the whole view. This is fine. We're uh, let's do a background first, okay? So I've just added my UI image view, and it's empty right now. So if you look on the right hand side, this time on this pane, keep in mind there are still a couple of tabs here. You want to make sure you're looking at the right one. Uh, there's this drop down here that says image, and right now there's nothing in there. Um, so the way that we add an image so that we can select it here is by adding it to the image asset library. Looking at the file navigator here, we have this library, this asset library here. And if you click it, um, it's going to reveal this sort of editor view where you've got a list of uh, image sets that you've added to the left. These two are default, the app icon and the launch image. And on the right hand side, you have the option to add images so we're going to right click in this area and, and say new image set and if you just press enter right now or you just you know single click it there you can rename it I'm gonna say I'm gonna call this uh, background okay and then here there's two different um, spots where we can add image so basically I'm not sure if you guys know but most of the newer iPhones are retina display and I believe it was um, introduced with the iPhone 4 so anything below iPhone 4 like the 3G or 3GS was non retina and so basically wh when you have an image that you want to add you want two sizes one is the original size which is the 1x and that's for non retina displays and one which is a higher resolution, double the resolution, uh, essentially double the size of that same image and you're going to add it in here and that's used for the retina phones. So I happen to have uh, an image set right here on my desktop. I'm just going to move this editor out of the way. And for the background I'm going to add the felt. So this is just a green felt background and you'll notice that the file names are similar but not quite. So the retina one has this at 2x in the file name and that just tells the system that it's a retina version I'm going to go ahead and drag it into the 2x slot and for the original one I'm going to drag it here okay and if I go back to the storyboard now and I click the image view and then go into the inspector pane here now I can see the image set which I've added and I can select it so let's go ahead and select it so you can see it there. Now, now if I run it, I'm going to see this as my background. And if you pull down the simulator that you want to run it on, as you can see, pretty much everything is a retina display nowadays, at least for iPhone. So I don't even have an option to select a non-retina iPhone simulator. Yeah, so there you go. So adding backgrounds, you know, pretty easy thing to do. Now, if I wanted to add an, an image that's not a background, it, 
we do the same thing except that you know we just change the size of the image view so for example I can put my image view here in the middle right and I'm gonna go to the image asset library again I'm gonna create a new image set I'm gonna call it dice and then I'm gonna go back to my desktop where I have my image assets and I'm just going to drag this guy in here drag this guy in here go to main.storyboard so I make sure this image view is highlighted and then I can pick that guy right there so it's stretched you know the the view mode is set to scale to fill um, but you know if you pick something like that then it's not going to scale it or you know aspect of fit it's going to try to fit it into uh, into your image view dimensions but it's not going to change the um, the aspect ratio of your image and there's a couple other ones that you can experiment with okay so this is you know setting the image using storyboards which is the way that I would recommend for a beginner uh, you can also you know create image view elements programmatically and set the images programmatically uh, but we'll do that another day as you're going to have to know some Objective-C code to do that. So this was a quick short video to show you guys how to add images. Hopefully that was, uh, hopefully you saw how simple and easy that was to do. Uh, if you learned something new, please help me out. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. I would really appreciate that. And if you're interested in learning how to build iPhone apps with no programming experience, I urge you to check out my paid video course. Uh, you can click on the annotation or you can check it out in the link in the description below. A lot of people have taken it and I've gotten a lot of great feedback on it. So I urge you to check that out if it's of interest to you. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye.